subway stations with the maps and the cars summer cookouts uncle got the sandals on statue of liberty we holding up the torch if they ask where i'm from tell them this is new hello everybody and welcome back to the channel you're joining us here in london from our temporary home at the moment for episode two of this little experiment i'm doing of training for the brooklyn half marathon doing very little running basically so at the moment just recovering from this soleus tear that is yeah doing really well as far as i can tell at the moment but yeah anyway today i thought i'd take you through a whole sort of day of training quite an intense day it's going to be but yeah we'll have a chat about that throughout the day but now i'm just making a little a little bit of breakfast um i'm just gonna have some bagels some avocado some hummus on there and just my standard orange juice and water. Let that settle down and then we'll chat about nutrition on the bike, get on the bike and heading out to the gym later and answering a lot of your questions as well. So yeah, stay tuned, we've got a fantastic video coming up and as always guys, let me know how your training is going as well. It'd be great to have a catch up down in the comments. Let's get this day done. Guys, that is breakfast done. I want to get changed, get my cycling gear on, and then we'll have a chat about some nutrition on the bike. I'm just going to be basically having orange juice and water, my standard thing. And then what a lot of people forget, especially when you're doing workouts inside and you've got a fan, the amount you're sweating. So in another um, container, I'm just going to put some Sis Go Hydro for some electrolytes in there. If I was cycling here on my own, which I've done up to about six hours indoor before by myself when Sarah's out training, I'd just have big, like huge big containers of stuff by the bike. In terms of extra calories and things, I'm just gonna have some bananas, we've got some nuts, some raisins, and then Sarah's gonna smoke me a couple of bagels as we go along as well. Again, if I was cycling, Without Sarah here, I just have those by the bike ready to go. So I think we've got about three hours, or at least three odd hours to today, about 100k on Zwift. So yeah, job in the bike in a sec. Today I'm just, um, just it's really just time on the bike. <laughs> you call it time on feet, long run. Um, I'm not really used to uh, talking about things in from a cycling point of view. It's Monday today on Saturday. I did 100K in about two hours, 52 or something. I did 100K yesterday and another 100K today. Again, in around about three hours, probably be a little bit slower today because we're going to go to the gym this afternoon and then I'm going to have a rest day tomorrow. Just going to head in to Watopia. Um, I just, just going on one of the sort of flat loops at the moment and that's about it. The bike and my phone all sort of pairs up and then I get going. For me, I like to do about sort of obviously the first five or ten minutes um, just fairly easy-ish. Um, so in terms of what's it's going to be around about 120, 130, 140 watts just for the first sort of five to ten minutes. And then I'll probably just sit at around about anywhere between 170, 190, maybe up to 200, and then I'll uh, pick up the pace a little bit at the end. Anyway, I'll chat about that as we go along. For now, I'm just going to sit back, not sit back, <laughs> sit forward, put some YouTube on, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in a bit. So we're just over an hour and 33k done, catching up with some of the masters. Good to see Rory McIlroy back on form there. Let's just pause that for a second. And uh, yeah, drinks wise, well, I'm running out of juice, had a few nuts, banana, about to have that. And yeah, hopefully Sarah will be back in a bit. But a lot of you guys have been asking, how are you dealing with this mentally? Well, I set myself new challenges. There's that phrase I use all the time, focus on what you can do and not what you can't. There's one little part of my life, quite a big part, but really a little part that I do, can't you know, which is running. I can get on the bike, I can go to the gym, still create content, I can still make awesome 
running hats. I can still do pretty much everything, but it is tough because without doubt, running is what makes me happiest. It's good for my mental health, but so is all this as well. So that's all I can really say guys, is if you're struggling with injury, running is so, so, so hard. It's, it takes incredible pounding on the body. And I'm starting to learn that now. Catching up with my massage therapist last week. She's like, you look as if you've ever felt so good. Your body's just in such great condition because I'm not running. It is difficult. Running is amazing. The best sport out there by a long way. But comes with that, unfortunately, is periods of downtime when we don't quite get things right. So stay strong. We'll be back running. I'll be back running. And I'm sure lots of you guys will be back running soon. We're heading off to Madeira next week. And I'm hoping, as long as the physio says so, I might be able to get a couple of little walk runs in there and build back up as we get ready for the Brooklyn half. A lot of these things are easier said than done. But all I can really say is focus on what you can do and not what you can't. Get your strength in, get your cross training in, and you'll be back outside in the beautiful sunshine getting it done very soon. Oh, and to carry on with the golf analogies, Tiger Woods at the Masters this weekend. In my opinion, the greatest sports star the world has ever seen. Nearly lost his leg. He was told that amputation was possible. And just the driving determination to get back just 14 months after that and to play in the competition with the world's elite best golfers, male golfers on the planet. It's just absolutely incredible. And it shows what you can do if you can get yourself in that right mindset. He's got a little bit more metal in his leg than I do, but it's stories like that that really keep me pushing harder and harder to get stronger. I think I've still got the best days ahead of me and I can't wait to take you along that on that journey this year. Up the mountains, around the track, down the road. It's gonna be amazing. Stay tuned. Sarah's back, come to the rescue. Refuel time. Everybody needs a Sarah in her life, in her life, in their life. How long have you got there? Uh, we're two hours, 28 in at the moment. It's about another half an hour. Do you want to just talk people through what you're actually using for your gear? Gear. Well, this is a Watt bike. I bought this on eBay. So much gear on eBay at the moment from people that bought it in lockdown. iPad Pro for watching stuff. Uh, Swift is on my iPhone. Uh, Honeywell fan off Amazon for about 20 pounds. And what else have we got? Some physique shoes. Very nice shoes, to be honest, for cycling indoors. But we'll be cycling outdoors soon. Got some Rafa bib shorts. And a very nice, very sweaty Ben Park singlet. And what is this? Oh, a nighttime getting it done hat. Got the Beats. I don't remember what these are called. The Beats. Pro. I'll put them up on the screen. They are the ones that come in this annoying clamshell that never never charge properly. Incredibly annoying. But if you've got an iPhone, it just makes life a little bit easier. I would have AirPods, but they don't stay in my ears. Why are you wearing a top? Why am I wearing a top? Because Is everyone people, moaning that you're mainly, topless in your photos. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have six pack abs. I'm not an Instagram fitness model. So uh a few people, jokingly of course, saying uh, why I wear more gear. And so I'll put this on today. Cover up. Modest. Do you because feel like the same fitness or do you feel like you've gained fitness? Already? Oh, my cycling fitness is, is growing rapidly. Yeah. You can see that light and day when I was doing this like a month ago. But how that translates to running fitness, I have no idea. <laughs> Right guys, that's the 100k up, 256-ish. It's not, I've been sitting on this thing for nearly three hours. I don't really feel tired at all. It's just a mental test to get through with cycling. And this is great 
cardiovascular work, building that zone two, building that aerobic capacity, building that foundation for what we're not getting from this. It's very hard to get on the bike. It's really spiking those heart rates. That's why we're going to the gym this afternoon to get the heart rate up. How much cross training are you doing guys? Let me know down in the comments. Is this something you really build into your running routine? Something you don't do, something you want to do? Let us know down below. I'm learning all about it. There'll be a lot more videos about it coming up. Right, I'm gonna wrap this cycle up. We'll see you for some lunch. Right guys, 112k done. 312k for the last three days. Happy with that. Right, let's get some food. Right, what have we cooked, Sarah? Oh, we just uh, did some leftovers. You started, yeah, started without me. Start recovering straight away. What a girlfriend, how lucky am I? Straight off the bike. Gorgeous bit of stew. What are we doing? A bit of rice? Yeah, it's a bit of rice. Oh! Oh, do you want a little pan? Little, uh... Right, some good protein. All those beans. A bit of spinach, nice. Carbs, recovery. Get this down. Bon appetit. And we'll see you heading off to the gym in a bit. guys back oh where are you back from the gym a few of the machines were broken wasn't really good in there this evening not up to usual pure gym standards was it Sarah no. no but anyway we got it done that's the most important thing so what do we do we did about 20 minutes on the stepper just an absolute torturous machine and then eight minutes just eight minutes on the concept two doing like 200 meters on, 200 meters off. So on was about 145 pace per 500 and off was about 210 per 500 meters. But what I wanna have a quick chat about, and I'm no expert on this and I'm learning everything I go along, but all about sort of run training and everything like that. But yeah, with run training, it's really easy, easier to get your heart rate at a nice elevated level and sustain it at a high level when we're doing our training. But with that, to get a similar heart rate on a bike is incredibly difficult. Your heart rate just doesn't naturally kind of go to the same sort of level. So all the training I've done on the bike, probably, approximately, and everyone's quite different, but around about 20 to 30 beats a minute lower than the same sort of perceived effort is if I was running. There's lots of different reasons why that might be the case. It's not really the video to chat about that. And I'll say, I'm no expert. So what I'm trying to do with my running is to try and replicate some of that higher heart rate stuff by doing some of this cross training. Now the best thing you can do, and you see some of the absolute elite endurance runners do this, especially through the winter, is something called SKIMO, which stands for Ski Mountaineering, or any sort of cross country skiing, basically. And you see some of the Scandinavian countries, the Nord Nord Nordic, Nordic, Norwegian, Swedish, and Finnish people, are got some of the fittest, most aerobically, such high VO2 max people in the world because they can do this. It is very similar to running. It gets the heart rate nice and high and elevated, but there's no impact. You can do it for a very long time as well. So how am I gonna try and replicate that in the gym? Well, the stepper is really good for that because you can get your heart rate up and sustain it for quite a long time. Hence doing around about 15 to 20 minutes on there today. It's a nice, really long rep pace without, there's a little bit of impact on the stepper, but not too much. And on the, on the Concept 2, you can get your heart rate up nice and high and sort of spike it up a little bit, something like we do with some shorter reps and things like that. So I'm doing my best. It's not an easy thing to do to try and cover that all bases, all of those heart rate zones, but essentially what we're doing, 
spending a lot of time on this bike here, really sort of building that aerobic base and then coupled with some strength work, which we'll talk about in the next video, because that's gonna be the most critical thing. When I come back, I'm gonna be quite fit in the heart and lungs, but I'll be quite a high risk of getting injured because my legs won't be strong enough to deal with that. It's a little bit about putting sort of a Ferrari, well, that's probably bigging me up quite a lot, um, a sports car engine in here without sort of the chassis and stuff to support it um, of down here. So yeah, we'll be doing a lot more strength work building up. And then when we do get back to running, we certainly won't be just sort of charging back into it, we'll be doing some gradual run walks and building that leg strength back up to us to support what we've done here. So it'll be a long sort of crossover period. But yeah, hopefully we're gonna keep a lot of this going because I really wanna to prove to myself that this is a genuine thing you can do to help support and increase your running ability, which I've had my doubts in the past. So yeah, hopefully we really wanna spend a lot more time on this bike going forward. That's a little summary of all this video and everything we've got going on. Really happy with how things are progressing at the moment. What that's gonna mean by the time we get to Brooklyn, I really don't know, and it was so sweet. So many, so many of you people in the last message, I was asking how things are gonna go. So a few, there was a funny the people that said like, oh, I think you might be a bit slower, but in the nicest possible way, that's probably the most nicest, that is probably the most likely outcome, to be fair, but we'll see how things go. And yeah, really looking forward to taking you guys across the pond. Had a couple of messages about doing a potential shakeout run or something in Brooklyn around Prospect Park. Let me know if you're interested in that sort of thing as well. All right, guys, lots of love. Hope your training is going well. And me and Sarah, Sarah, you come around two thumbs. Me and Sarah will see you very, very soon getting it done in the next one.